VDB disappearing in the distance, not visible in past tracing or ray tracing, not rendering through translucent materials, looks too dark and a bright day, we are going to fix all of that. Hi there, Post Processes here and in this video I will show you how you can work around some common issues with VDBs which you may face when rendering your cinematics in Unreal Engine by using console variables. And now let's get into it. In my previous video I have shown how to make this shuttle launch using Embergen and today I will be working with it. First issue which most of the subscribers faced, judging by the comments, that VDB disappears at certain distance. By default VDB is set to be visible at a distance of 30,000 cm or 300 meters. As you can see VDB fades away if I fly too far with my camera. For this issue you can use console variable r heterogeneous volumes dot max trace distance and increase the value to 50,000 or 100,000 to make it visible from further distance. Now if I fly further away my VDB doesn't disappear. Second issue is that VDB is not visible through glass or translucent material. As you can see I have here rainy atmosphere, ultra dynamic sky and weather system uses translucent cards for rain and it will obstruct VDB visibility in renders that it won't be visible at all. So we need to disable translucency sorting for our VDB. Console variable is r heterogeneous volumes dot depth sort zero. This will disable automatic translucency sorting for VDB and make it visible through the rain or four cards and render, even though nothing has changed in our viewport. Issue number three, VDB is too dark in the bright light. If you are using Unreal Engine Sun and Sky system for example or Ultra Dynamic Sky and set time of day to some clear sky and bright sun, parts of VDB which is occluded by some mesh or shadow will look really deep and dark and will lose the volume. In some cases it looks good but sometimes you need also skylight affect your volume. For that you can use console variable r heterogeneous volumes dot indirect lighting one. This will make your indirect light sources like skylight affect your VDB volume. But it will look drastically different, so you would need to adjust some parameters in your material instance, such as color or density, to make it look more proper in the scene. Use this console variable when you think it suits best for your scenario. Next issue, VDB is not visible in pass tracing. By default, VDBs are not rendered in pass tracing. To enable it, use console variable r path tracing heterogeneous volumes 1. As you notice, the VDB looks different in past tracing and much thicker, looks more like liquid or some sort of bubbles. If you are using past tracing, you also need to change density in your material instance for more real values close to Houdini ones. So smoke should have density value around 0.05 or even 0.025 in order to display your VDB correctly. After changing this value, you will instantly see the improvement of the visuals and you can see it in playback much smoother. Last issue, animated VDB flickers in playback. It happens if Unreal can't load fast enough so it can stack on one frame. I never had this issue but some people pointed out that in comments. You can adjust to force higher or lower quality load by using console command r sparse volume texture dot streaming dot prefetch MIP level bias. This was my last tip, I hope you found this quick tip video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Unreal Engine tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.